Hello all, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about making a good pause screen or menu. Um, so first we're going to start off, let me just show you what I have here. I've got a little game and what we're going to be able to do is pause the game. Go ahead and play it. Um, brick falls. But what we're going to be able to do is pause the game and um, be able to suspend everything in space and um, make that all work out. So what we're going to do is first we're going to add the function. Um, let's get into logic bricks right here. First off, make sure you have all this selected. Make sure you have GLSL, um, all the good stuff you normally do. I'll change this to 60, um, just to keep it good um, for all um, that reasons. But we're just going to use the uh, camera to um, pause the game with. Now you could use a player controller, whatever you wanted to use, really. Um, but we're going to use we're going to use a keyboard, and uh, we're not going to use escape because if you use escape um, to change the scene that we're going to use, it's not going to you're not going to be able to quit out your game. So um, for right now, we're just going to do F finish I guess so um, we'll go down to here and we'll go down to game or uh, wait sorry we're going to uh, take scene ah not this one so we're gonna grab the scene here and um, we're gonna go ahead and name our scene so we know what it is we'll just call it game um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to suspend scene and put game so when we click F we'll pretend this is escape like a pause um, and so we'll play the game we click F, it's going to pause the game, and that's about it. We can't do anything else. Um, and now we just click Escape. So that's sort of our pause. And what we're going to do is when it, we also click F, we want um, a pause screen to come up. So we'll go ahead and add a new scene. We're going to add a camera. Um, click Alt-R to disable all of its rotation. Um, and we're just going to go like this, and we're going to bring it up like so, so it's looking straight down. Um, now, if you don't add any world settings, um, whatever is going to be behind this is going to be alpha because we're going to add this as an overlaid scene. So, um, in a game, you'd probably add some options. We're going to add a plane here. Uh, make it actually make sure all your settings in this. This is new scenes uh, Blender render. So change the Blender game GLSL. Um, all the things you need to do. We'll make it 60. Um, all that stuff. Make sure the um, resolution is the same as your other one because. Um, that's going to matter when it overlays. So, okay. Going into our um, camera view here. We've got this. We're going to scale it by X. We're going to say this is a camera option. And we're just going to add two options. So, we'll duplicate them. Um, we're going to give them a name. Or actually, we're going to give them a material. We'll just call this uh, plain. Uh, make it shadeless white. Um, and add the same material. So, we've got two of these. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to want to have like text in here. Uh, maybe you want to go to um, change your graphic settings or you want some credits up here or to quit the game or go to a different scene, whatever it may be. Um, but we're going to make this top one up here uh, play. Um, so I'll just uh, hit Shift S to select it. Um, and we're going to add a text. So here's our text. Um, we'll uh, bring it down a little bit, scale it by two move it over and uh, we're just gonna click 7 I guess and we'll just make it in the middle of this little text block here and so by clicking tab you can edit it and type out we're just gonna click play so this is gonna resume our scene basically um, and now right now it's just a text so it, you actually can't really do anything with it um, if you wanted to change the font you can upload a font over here I'm just gonna leave it the way it is um, but what I'm gonna do is click alt C and it's gonna make a mesh from the text. So now it's a mesh um, and it will interact with light and things. We're just going to um, center it a little bit. There we go to make it look a little bit better. And then maybe move it. Alright, so that's fine. Um, and we just click play. This is what we got, um, I believe, because this is underneath it. So let me move the text up. There we go. Yeah, so we just got this little um, play thing going on. And it's just right on the text. Now, what we need to do is parent this to this. Uh, we're going to click Control P, um, keep transform if you want, um, and so you can grab this, it'll do whatever. And what we want to do is that when we mouse over this, it's going to expand a little bit and make it look nice. So we'll grab our plane, and we're just going to give it a name, um, plane, or play, plane. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our dope editor, and we're going to give it some animation. So we'll start at zero, um, just do I for scaling, so we're going to add a scaling keyframe. Go to frame 5, and we're going to scale it up by just a little bit like that. 
and do scaling again. And we're going to name this, go to action editor, we're going to name this um, plain large. So just so we know it's going to get bigger. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some logic in here so that when our mouse goes over it, it's going to play that animation. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do mouse, do um, mouse over. Um, and we're going to go to action and select the plain large and it's at five. And so we'll connect these up. There we go. So if we click play, oh, sorry, I have to go to um, make sure you're on the first frame. There we go. So now one thing is when our mouse gets over it plays, we can't actually see our mouse, so that's an issue. So what we can do is um, I just select your camera. It doesn't really matter. You just need something to know that uh, your um, mouse is there. I like to add all, even an empty in the middle. Sorry, center. Um, just add a, like a plain axis here, and we'll go um, to, uh, let's see, always, um, mouse, invisible, so we can see it. So we can see, there we go. So our mouse is, it's playing the animation, it's playing it very annoyingly, and it's just going over and over again. And that's not good. So what we're going to do is actually make this animation type a flipper. So you click play, it'll do it when it's over, it'll undo it when it's not over. And there are a little bit of issues with this. Um, probably the collision bounds of your mouse, and it's got to detect it. But that's the best way to do it. Um, I wonder if you click, I think maybe if you use tap. No. Always. Nah, that's not good. But just uh, just leave it the way it is. And it'll uh, play that animation when you mouse over. So now we're going to add a text over here. We're going to do selected to this one, just so it'll make it easier to use. Um, uh, put our text in the scene. So we're going to drag it down um, and we're going to call this one quit. So this is going to get us out of the game um, to not play anymore. So we're going to scale it up accordingly. Um, make it in the middle. Now you need to make this one um, a mesh again. Um, and we'll parent this one to this plane. Oop. Do transform. And we're going to do the same thing. Um, always or sorry, not always, we're going to add a mouse, um, and add the action, plain large, 5, um, mouse over, connect those up. So if we click play, it'll play, and this is not on flipper, so we need to change that, so it's on flipper. There we go. So that works pretty well. Um, and one thing we need to do is that when, um, if we want to quit the game, so we'll say, um, if we click it while it's also the mouse is over, so we'll add another mouse sensor. So we have left button, we're going to add another AND controller, and this is going to be able to control that when we mouse over it and click on it, then it's going to work. So we have a left button, so when the mouse is over and the left button is clicked, then we have our output. So we're going to make, um, just go into game um, and quit game. There we go, just like that. Um, so make sure this is tap. Um, otherwise, if you hold down the um, button, well, actually, I'll show you that. So we're clicking the button right now. I don't know if you can hear that. But if you hold it down, mouse over, it's going to quit the game. We don't want that. We just want to tap. So you have to, I'm clicking it, and I'm holding it down while masking it over. Nothing's happening. But then when I click on it, it'll quit the game. So that's what we want. Um, and that's what we have. So what we're going to do um, with this one is to resume the scene if we click back to play so we do mouse left button um, add another and controller put these together make it tap um, and then scene we'll do our scene so we want our game to resume so we go to resume scene game um, and then we're also going to add another scene we want this pause scene to end so we'll actually name it pause there we go we want it to end we don't want to see it anymore so we're going to remove scene pause and then one thing we're going to do is we want our mouse to go away so we're going to do mouse and we're going to do oh sorry uninvisible it's already selected visible so visible there so this should all work um, now it actually ends the game I don't know why well it's trying to set the scene and ends the scene so that's why but um, we'll go to our game so what we're going to do is it's going to spin the scene so here we go if we click F we're going to make it um, we're going to go to scene, we want the scene, we're going to add an overlay scene, and we're going to make it pause. So, if we click play, click F, here's our little screen, click play, 
and it resumes the game click F again and just click this to quit the game and it works so you can definitely get a lot more complicated with that but I hope this was just a little quick um, nice tutorial for you guys to learn how to make a simple pause menu screen so um, thanks for watching um, please tune in next week um, leave a comment if you want to learn something and uh, just a little announcement Unreal 4 is um, the engine itself and Unity 5 are now free um, I myself I'm trying to learn Unreal um, I'm finishing a project up in the Blender game engine um, I'll probably post some things on that when I finish the game but um, if you guys uh, want to look for a free tool that's really used um, in professional uh, areas Unreal 4 is free so I'd really encourage you guys to go look at that um, engine um, as it is a lot better than the Blender game engine even though this is a very good engine um, it's sort of getting outdated sadly and I do, don't want to part from it but um, Unreal is looking pretty nice so um, yeah that's all for this week guys so uh, thank you please tune in next week bye